Joining us live this morning, Dr. Larry Corey uh, speaks with Dr. Fauci almost every day. He's also an internationally renowned expert in virology and vaccine development. Thanks so much for giving us time on your Monday morning here, Dr. Corey. Do you think three shots will be the new norm from here on out? Well, I think for adults, um, we will be using three shots. I mean, I, I think that um, the Delta strain really is more infectious, really very different than the original strain the virus really has altered itself um, <clears throat> and it's breaking through um, with waning immunity. So I think after six or eight months, uh, adults will be getting three, three, um, the three shots. And it really does raise your immunity to really very high levels. And um, we'll see what happens. Um, the virus changes. We have to use different countermeasures to, to deal with that. And because of waning immunity, Dr. Corey, what do we know about breakthrough cases among people who have gotten their boosters compared to people who have not? Well, there's no question that vaccinated really makes a big difference over unvaccinated, like 20 fold and hospitalization rates are there. Uh, <clears throat> the boosting also, um, uh, at least from um, data from a couple other countries, uh, suggests that the few cases who break through enough to get into hospital, uh, it looks like boosting really changes the severity of that. What we really don't know at the moment is how long the boost will last. We know we go way up on it and we would expect it to last longer, but at the moment we really do not know that. So it's still very rare to be boosted and have a breakthrough case. It is uncommon. Uncommon. But that's, you know, but will it be uncommon in six months or eight months or 10 months? This is a learn as we go situation. I guess on the flip side of that, if someone says, you know, I'm healthy, I'm young, I've gotten my, you know, two doses already, I'm fully vaccinated, I don't need that booster. Is there such thing as too much of a vaccine, you know, where people might be hesitant to get that booster thinking they don't really need it? Um, actually, there is no such thing as really getting too much of the, of the vaccine. Uh, the side effects look to be the, the, the same. At the moment, um, uh, as many as four or five percent of people who have had waning immunity from six months, eight months, ten months, look like they can get ill enough so that they're going into the hospital. They're not getting into the ICU or they're not having really bad um, uh, COVID disease uh, associated with mortality or being intubated. Um, but they are sick enough so that they um, are requiring some hospitalization. We think we should be trying to avoid that, uh, and boosting is uh, the first um, sort of armamentarian against that from happening. Dr. Corey, in terms of our vaccination rate, things have been leveling off. Are we sort of where we're going to be in terms of our vaccination rate? In other words, are we getting to this point where it's almost an endemic stage that we can sort of start leveling off and, and sort of, like I said, just sort of be where we're going to be, for lack of a better term? Well, I, I hope we're, we're not yet, Jake and Mimi, at where we want to be. I mean, we are um, still at over 1,000 deaths a day in the 1,200 death, deaths a day at the country, and we're at 70, 80,000 cases a day. Um, uh, I think we have the tools to do better, and I don't want to say that we should be content with where we're being. Even in our own state that has high set vaccination rates, we are still having a very significant number of cases of hospitalization and um, uh, and lots of cases. So um, we have the tools here. Vaccination is a tool. Sometimes we may need to use more treatment to, as far as the monoclonals and the new antivirals, but I don't think we are where we could be or should be. Last question is, we had you on the show uh, at the peak of this last wave, Dr. Corey, and you were really, um, if I can say, frustrated with the number of people who are not getting vaccinated when they could uh, get the vaccine. We're at a stage where all adults are eligible to get the booster and we're going into, um, you know, the winter months. Are you concerned at all that people will not get that third dose to boost up their immunity and that might have an effect on, you know, the COVID cases? Yeah. I am concerned, and that's why we're here, and that's why we like you having these stories, because the public needs to understand that really advantages with boosting. Um, uh, that the, again, this virus uh, ha has changed; it's highly infectious. Um, it, it can break through, break through enough so that you're sick. Okay, and I guess I'm making a distinction between. Okay, you can decide that. Um, you know, I'm protected with the two doses enough to, not to get hospitalization. But my point here is 
please get boosted because it really does make a, a difference. Breakthrough cases both can make you sick, um, you miss work, you risk transmitting to others uh, unwittingly. Um, uh, you, there, there's all sorts of things with respect to protecting children, protecting the schools. These are all the consequences that go with circulating the virus in our community. And I think uh, one of the reasons we're giving boosters is to prevent and reduce the circulation of the virus in the community. Hopefully we won't see another wave of the, uh, the pandemic. Dr. Larry Corey, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dr. Corey.